Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to fix a broken filament clock. If you click this video, it means you've encountered the same problem that I have. A piece of filament has broken off into one of your PTFE tubes. So first thing you need to do is turn off your machine and unplug it, flip it around, and you'll be looking at your filament buffer. You need to unscrew those screws and take it right off. Okay, now that we've done that, you need to unplug your filament buffer. This is what it should look like. My filament got stuck inside one of the PTFE tubes connected to the filament buffer. So we're gonna be taking off this tube right here. There should be a little button. You gotta push this latch while pulling on the tube and it should come right out. And the filament that I was talking about is stuck right here. Pull that out. All done. That's a big piece. Okay, now you can stick your PTFE tube right back in there, make sure it's nice and tight, and then screw the buffer right back onto the machine, and you're all done. And don't forget to plug your power cords back in. As soon as I fixed my first machine, my second machine had another clock, but this time inside the AMS. Now, Fixing an AMS clog can be a little more complicated. Don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through every single step of the way. First thing you need to do is take the buffer off the machine and take the tube off from the other side. Same process, just the other side. Once you've got your PTFE tube disconnected from the buffer, look inside the AMS. There should be a little latch right down here. Push that down and pull the other end of the PTFE tube out. Once you've done that, there should be two pinholes here with screws in them. Get your Allen wrench that came with the machine and take those screws out. Once you've done that, pull the back end of the AMS up and out. Remember to be patient and gentle because there are two wires under this AMS that you do not want to snap. Once the AMS is loose, unplug the two wires under it, gently. You should now be able to remove the AMS completely and flip it over. What you should see is four PTFE tubes. The clog that I have is in slot number one. We're gonna unplug this PTFE tube and expose the broken filament inside. There it is. Pull that right out. And you've basically fixed the problem. Now, all you gotta do is put everything back together. Plug the PTFE tube right back into its original spot. And here comes the tedious part. You gotta put the front of the AMS back into the machine first and then the back. But before you put it back in completely, plug in the wires. The bigger plug should be on the right side and the smaller plug with the white band around it is on the left side. Once you've plugged those wires back in, you should be able to put your AMS back into the case completely. And then put the screws back in the pinholes, screw them in, now you're ready for the last couple of steps. Plug the PTFE tube back into the AMS and plug the other end into the filament buffer. You should hear a little click. Now all you gotta do is put the filament buffer back on the machine, put the screws on and plug it right back in. If you found this video informative and helpful, please leave a like, consider subscribing so you don't miss the next one. Leave a comment and let me know if I helped you or if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys in the next one.